Hi, my name is Thomas, and I'm passionate about fitness because I think it's an awesome opportunity to take control of my own health and wellness. Um, I think it's a really cool way in which I can try and extend my own life expectancy. I often tell people if I can live to be 100, I can. my son will be 70, my grandson will be 40, and my great-grandson will be 10, and I get to be pops. And I don't know what would be cooler than getting to pour into a great grandchild's life for 10 years. And it just, that's something that's really important to me. And I think that taking control of my own health, I can try and take care of my own body, avoid metabolic diseases, avoid that knee replacement way down the road or something like that. I can just take care of myself and try and avoid all of the hassles of aging, so to speak. Um, I'm also really competitive with myself. I don't like to lose at all, and I can be really competitive with myself. Um, I always want to beat whatever I did last time. Can I lift a little bit more? Can my volume of workout be a little bit more this week than it was last week? Can I make it a little bit farther, a little bit faster on this big bike ride? Can I uh, beat my golf score by two or three strokes? Uh, so being competitive with myself is something that helps me or is a reason why I'm really passionate about fitness. I also find fitness extremely fun and relaxing. I've noticed in my own life when I get really busy and life gets hectic, if I can make time for fitness and exercise, I'm going to be a lot more relaxed and the week or whatever is going to go a lot easier because I've made that time and I've just, I'm a lot more relaxed. Um, I'm really excited and passionate about this opportunity with Trodo because I'm really drawn to the corporate fitness atmosphere. Um, I don't think it's any secret that America's got a problem with physical health and wellness, specifically obesity and diabetes. Um, I think the corporate fitness um, atmosphere allows you to reach a population that wouldn't normally get to the opportunity to exercise which I think is awesome and it makes me extremely excited to bring exercise, especially the opportunity to work with a trained individual to this group of people who otherwise might not be able to get that. Uh, this kind of became real for me. My freshman year of college over Christmas break, I worked at a factory uh, called Den Hartog. They work with like plastic molds and stuff. It was not a whole lot of fun, but... I did it because I was playing college baseball at the time and I was like, hey, I can make a pretty good money working 12 hours a day and I can, it's a factory job, so I'm going to be working hard all day and I'll get to stay in shape maybe. And uh, as I got into it more, I worked hard all day, but it wasn't really, like it didn't really keep me in shape. Like it wasn't that type of hard work. And I really looked around and noticed some of my coworkers, like they didn't eat healthy at all. A lot of them were overweight because... While they were working hard all day, they were standing around. So that really opened my eyes to the need of corporate fitness. Like these people spend 12 hours a day and they don't, some, some of them, and sometimes they don't get a whole lot of physical activity. So that exercise, that time with a trained exercise individual can be extremely important to their health and their wellness. Um, I also am really drawn to the company of Trotto because I, I really value and identify with a lot of their mission and values. Um, the idea of vulnerability is something that's really important to me, uh, especially through my time as an RA. Um, I tend to be an introverted person, so at first being vulnerable with other people kind of came difficult, but through my experience as an RA, I've really learned that, hey, being vulnerable with other people will really help you build a strong relationship with them and you get that you can really speak into other people's lives and allow them to speak into your own life through that, uh, through the, through being vulnerable. Um, I also am really excited about the idea of encouraging people to grow and allowing them to encourage myself to grow. So I think the opportunity, this opportunity with Trotto is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really excited about what their company does and would absolutely love the opportunity to start with this program or this company. Thanks. All righty guys, we're going to learn the air squat today, but before we get into that, I want to run through a quick little warm up. 
warm ups going to be split into two phases. The first phase is just focused on increasing our heart rate and getting us loosened up a little bit, and ready to get at it. All right. So first, let's do 15 jumping jacks. All right. Stay on the inside part of your foot and not letting your knee drift outside of your foot there. All right, so two more. Yep, yeah, twist your foot so that your, your foot's kind of in will help a lot. Yep, that's better. One more each leg. All right, nice work. Now we will jump right into our squat and learn how to do that. All right, so I'll demonstrate the air squat first. You guys just watch. All right, so that's what the air squat looks like. The air squat's really an important exercise to perform because your ability to squat um, has a strong correlation with your ability to perform activities of daily living and just your fitness level in general. So that's why we want to take today to kind of focus on that. So uh, I'll break down, now I'll break down the movement for you a little bit. So we want to focus on having about a shoulder width apart stance and be a little bit wider if you need to be. I like to have my toes pointed out a little bit. Um, it just allows my hips to move it or area to move a little bit. So I think that helps a lot. Um, but we want to make sure we keep our chest up and pointed to the person in front of us so we can maintain good posture. Um, from there, the first, the first step is to think, drop your butt straight to your heels. I like to think about also pushing out my knees as I go down. So that would look like this, dropping my butt 
that straight to my heels, pushing my knees out. Now, we want to get as low to a point where our hips are below our knees, but if we can't get there, that's we want to get as low as we can. And then from there, we want to focus on pushing our knees out again to extend ourselves straight back up. All right, so each of you guys do five of those at your own pace, and I'll kind of watch and give you some pointers. So here we go. Nice and all focus on not getting on your toes. If you need to, sometimes that's because you have your feet too far together so you're not getting enough your hips enough room. So if you uh, widen out a little bit and spread your or point your toes out just a touch, that can help you a lot. Yep. You feel how you can get a little bit lower without getting up on your toes? Yeah, definitely. All right. Nice work. All right. Everybody do one more. Nice work, nice work. So now we're gonna do a quick series of 10, just to show off what we've learned today, all right? So here we go. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, four more. 